Well, all right. <laughs> I can't believe I have to do this story right now. Michael Rotondo, or however you say the name. I don't know how to say it, all right? Don't judge me. Don't judge, all right? You don't know how that goes, but... The guy who got evicted by his parents, he officially left. You know, he's packing up his bags, leaving. Everyone thought, oh wow, he's making he's making a change in life now. Even I was like, wow, maybe he's changed. Maybe he's changed a bit. But I was wrong. You see, right before he left, he was getting his stuff packed up, ready to leave. He made a call. He was to the police station. He actually called the police on his father. Because he was missing a few Legos. You heard that right. Over missing Legos, he called the police up. Missing Legos. Stupid Legos. He called the cops up on his father. What? 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 I'm... I hope they're for his kids. Can you imagine if they were for him? Who took my Legos? Some 30 year old? 30 years old still addicted to Legos? But if that, if that is the case, then this man needs to be arrested and put in a mental health home. He does. Because nobody in the right mind calls the police up about Legos. You just don't, especially when you're 30 years old. Maybe if you're like 5 years old. And you know 911 and you call it up. But this guy, he's not five, he's 30. And he has a child. I hope that, I, I think that they're child's Legos. But still, calling the cops up, there's no reason for that. No reason for that. Why? Why call the cops up? How are they going to help you? You need them to, you, you need them to help you lift the couch up and check under it for the missing Legos? Come on. Ridiculous. He should be ashamed of himself. I'll be honest right there. He ought to be ashamed of himself. I'm just saying. Missing Legos. I'm trying to figure it out. Like, would, would you? Would you call the cops about missing Legos? Of course not. Maybe some of you would. I bet there's a couple on my... A couple of my subscribers would. I bet you would. And I tweeted out and also made an Instagram story referring to whether I should be shaved bald or not. And the amount of idiots who took me seriously was unbelievable. Unbelievable. I could not believe it. The amount of idiots who actually think, I haven't said anything yet. They think I'm actually going to go bald. They think. <laughs> oh my, people are so easily trolled. Y'all so easily trolled. You actually think I'm going to pull the clippers out and do it. Oh God. Oh please. Y'all need so much help. Y'all need so much help. I trolled you like that. On the spot. I was like, goodness, what should, what should I troll people on today? Oh, I'll do that. I'll do it. And people fall for it. People fall for it. Begging me in my DM to not cut my hair bald. You hear that? You hear that? They beg me in my DM. You know? It's insanity. What else can I say? What else can I say, you know? Stop letting me troll you. It's as simple as that. It's very simple. Very simple. Gosh, why is it so blurry for? Gosh. The lighting in this room stinks right now. It's early in the morning. Bright, sunny day. But anyhow, that's all I've got to say. Maybe I'm going to do a fourth video on this guy. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. But 
That's it.